As you know, Sarah Palin is only the second woman ever to be nominated for vice president. But if her story were written in Hollywood, she'd be just one of many female contenders. CBS News correspondent Michelle Geelan reports. I will be honored to accept your nomination. With lights shining and cameras rolling, Sarah Palin's speech was high drama. Here's a little news flash for those reporters and commentators. I'm not going to Washington to seek their good opinion. I'm going to Washington to serve the people of this great country. The governor's sudden ascent into the spotlight appeared like a real life movie. I just can't respond to the accusations because it's not okay for them to be made. A movie not unlike The Contender, where Joan Allen plays a senator embroiled in controversy when nominated to be the first female vice president. The fun is in getting there first, exploring it dramatically before it's been lived out in real life. Political analyst Lawrence O'Donnell was executive producer of The West Wing. Uh, at The West Wing, we got ahead on the minority candidate for president. We ran Jimmy Smith as a Latino candidate for president before Barack Obama runs as an African-American. Do you think we can get the Chinese to make a deal? Commander-in-chief in which Gina Davis's character becomes president after his sudden death doesn't seem so far-fetched now, not with today's campaign. This presidential campaign has gone too far for Hollywood. Obama was enough. Someone in the West Wing writing staff had said, hey, let's have a woman vice president on the other ticket. I would have been the first one to shoot that down and say, no, no, that's too much. It's and yet these tough. two tickets are more than a cast of characters. They're real, but only one will have their Hollywood ending. For The Early Show, Michelle Gielan, CBS News.